when you start to melt down, you just simply can't rock up with your crucible and start melting silver or melting gold into it because it just doesn't work. You've got to prepare the crucibles. The crucibles are quite rough. I suppose they could be quite porous. So we need to prepare them. And what do we mean by pre preparing them? We need to prepare them with something like borax powder. This is um, a flux. You can buy it powdered. I must have a hole in my container. I've got a hole in my container. Looks a bit melted. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna prepare a crucible. And it's gonna look like this after a few uses. We've got all this nice, smooth, glass-like surface, which helps the silver or helps the gold melt down. We use these, stand back a bit, we use these crucible holders. You can also get, um, hang on, let me just grab my other crucible holder a minute. I have to excuse the mess in here. Okay, so you can get different types of crucible holders. Uh, there we go. You can get this style. This is must be close to over two foot long, round crucible on the end. Principle is exactly the same. This is a, a bit of a monster one for doing a lot of casting. Um, this is a bit more smaller. Say hello to Grace, my daughter's on there. Um, having your tea, I expect, Grace. This is a smaller one, and this applies to whether you're, you've got crucibles to do sort of centrifugal, just had it, cool. <laughs> a rocking berry, she is, yeah. Grace is the one on the bass guitar. Uh, yeah, crucible like this when you're melting down. We've got rectangular, no, no, they're, they're square. They're square rectangles square crucibles, three inch and a two inch. So what we need to do, we need to heat them up and by heating them up, then we're gonna sprinkle, uh, okay, Adam, remind me when I just finished doing this, but yeah, I'll come on to that. I'll certainly answer your question. So we can put these crucibles onto our crucible handle. Yes, to be, to be honest, Adam, the large burnout kiln that I bought was far cheaper because it was second hand, far cheaper than the Paragon. So, brand new crucible, pop it into your crucible holder. Uh, da -da -da -da. Make sure that's nice and tight. You don't want it falling off at the wrong moment. And so that's a little two inch crucible we've got on there. This one will take a three inch crucible as well. And that's ideal if you want to melt down quite a bit of silver. But this little two inch crucible will melt down roughly um, a good two ounces, about a good 60 odd grams of silver, 60 odd grams of gold. Right, let's move my cup of tea. And for those who, who don't know who I am, my name's Andrew Berry. You can follow me on Twitter, Andrew underscore Berry, or also on Periscope, up on the top there. So I'm gonna put the camera down, I have to excuse me a second, so you can actually see what I am doing. So we've got a nice heat proof area by here. This is our uh, virginal crucible, so to speak. And uh, what we need to do first, if you've got your borax powder, okay, and sprinkle it into the crucible before you put the flame onto it, what's gonna happen? The flame is gonna hit the crucible, the borax is gonna go shooting up in the air, and you'll have a bad case of dandruff, what looks like dandruff. So what you need to do first, you need to make sure that the crucible, and I'm using an old sievert torch here, you can use one of the handheld torches as well if you wanted to, that it was powered by butane. We want to make sure that the crucible is nice and hot, first of all, because then we're going to sprinkle some of the borax onto the crucible. So we can just gently sprinkle that, and what's going to happen is that borax, as you can see what's happening on here now, is starting to stick to the crucible. And what we want to do is make sure that the whole area of that crucible is covered with borax. Okay, you can't really see it up on the camera there, but it's heating up quite nicely. And by, I carry on. And by coating the surface, it's going to stop the silver or the gold sticking to the crucible, which is what so often happens. And People just don't tell you about these sort of things, do they? So, we can carry on heating, that'll stay there, cool. So, 
so you just need to keep heating this up until the floor wax has got a nice covering over the whole crucible. The floor wax will go in little lumps initially, as you've got there. That's because the crucible hasn't got up to temperature yet. I'll leave that going there. And once the crucible has got up to temperature, the borax then that's going to become nice and molten is going to cover. Yep, exactly. You can do exactly the same thing. If you do mix it with a bit of water, you may notice that the covering is quite thin. If you sprinkle it on, you can ensure you've got a really nice thick coating across the whole of the crucible. Yep, there we go. Exactly. There's not one method that is right, it's just what you prefer. Paste flux. Exactly. So I'm not necessarily going to stand here for the next five minutes waiting for this crucible to get up the temperature. I'll stop it now and I'll show you and I'll show you what the crucible looks like. Uh, put it down by there. there we go. Okay, I'm not going to do the whole thing, but what you can just about see, you can just see that little bit of a glaze that little bit of shininess now that's at the bottom of the crucible. And if you compare that with that one, you know, there's nothing shiny at the bottom of that one, but now we've started to get a nice coating along the bottom. And that's all there is to it. Okay, so that's all you need to do. You'd spend a little bit longer heating up that crucible, making sure that the surface is nice and hot. Sprinkle it or paint it across that whole area then you've prepared the crucible and then you can safely start to melt your silver or you melt your gold uh, can i do your balls in molten gold whatever you want to do mate so you can turn this don't ever think about trying to melt gold or silver down in that the borax glaze turns red. It does, it turns nice bright red and it flows and covers the bottom of the crucible. And as I said, you can just about see a little bit of shininess from the lights there in the bottom. And the idea is for that glaze, it's almost like a glaze, you've glazed the bottom. Um, and then when the, the borax cools down, it becomes glass-like and that's the whole idea. Well, once you've done that, once that is coated nicely all over, spot on you can crack on and start melting your silver and your gold yeah look well that's this is a, a a crucible that we've melted down many times in exactly mark you can see how we've got all this area here all this area is a load of sort of like gunk as well that comes out of all the metal we've got obviously all the dirt and all the bits of carbon and all the you know, the dead skin and the, the burnt perfume from all the, the chains and perhaps stuff that you'd melt down. It gets trapped in with all the borax, as you can see. So that's fine. You can carry on using that. No problem at all. And likewise, in this one, this is one of our uh, centrifugal casting crucibles. And you can see in there, we've done exactly the same thing. All in here is nicely glass-like and nicely prepared. So that is basically easy as that. That is how you prepare your crucibles.